This is the Kuching Food Festival that's been running annually for 36 years. With over 300 stalls, we have a lot of ground to cover, so let's dive right in and try to decide our first stop. Well, I just made it here to the Kuching Food Festival, and my first impressions are that I am completely overwhelmed because there are hundreds and hundreds of stalls, and it's gonna be really hard choosing. I've said it before and I'll say it again, uh, having a one-man YouTube channel is really hard when you have to eat stuff because I can only eat so much in a day. And this festival is crazy. It's one of the biggest food festivals I've ever been to, and it kind of feels like being in Malaysia, China, India, the Philippines, Korea, and Japan at the same time. So I'm gonna have a hard time choosing uh, let's see what I, can, what I can get out of this. I'm just gonna dig right in and go for the first meal of the day, and that is the Japanese takoyaki. My Japanese students online are always talking about this, and I've been wanting to eat it for a long time. So it's actually um, octopus, cabbage, and spring onion, and of course, the best mayonnaise in the world, QP mayonnaise. Mmm. Sorry. Starting off strong with a fried octopus ball. Which reminds me, I forgot to take my gastritis medicine. But this takoyaki was eight ringgit for three pieces. So let's see what other deals I can find around here. I arrived exactly when they started. So they're still kind of setting up a lot of stuff, but all the stalls are open. Let's see what's next. I'm from Brazil. Yeah. Oh, Neymar. Neymar, Brazil. of course. This is Brazil. Yeah, Neymar. that's right. <laughs> you like football? Hi. You like football? Uh, not really. No? My, my brother likes football. I went to watch uh, Kuching FC last oh, week. Yeah. yeah. So, it's but, good. How about the FC? Uh, you know? It was Kuching against Penang. How, how about the match? Yeah, 2 2 2. two match. Uh, two goals and two goals. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Ah, you like football. What team is this? Ah, from Sarawak. Uh, oh, this is a Malaysia. Malaysia show. Let's see. Cool. I'm from Brazil. Brazil? Yeah. I like Brazil. Yeah. I like Neymar. Neymar. Ah, yeah. I like uh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Uh, but the Brazilian Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much. I, I, I like Brazil when I was uh, fast and furious. Ah. Well, fast and furious, real, right? Yeah, Hello. Real. <laughs> okay. Nice. Thank you, guys. Nice okay. meeting you. Second dish of the day, and I have the classic Malaysian satay here. This is the beef one. Your classic shish kebab, but it is seasoned in such a delicious way. It's kind of sweet as well, which is surprising. And I absolutely love it. And the people here at the stall were extremely friendly. And of course, whenever I say I'm from Brazil, they immediately start talking about football and Neymar. Neymar's not even my favorite player, but so far a great experience here at the Kuching Food Festival. And yeah, this uh, satay was just one ringgit, so pretty cheap. I just found the biggest line of the festival and it's for a thing called golden shrimp donuts. Definitely don't know what to expect of that, but consider me officially intrigued. I have to admit, I always thought my first Wagyu beef experience would be a little more luxurious than this. I imagine having it in like a fancy restaurant setting or something like that. And here I am crouched down in some Chinese temple to get away from the rain. But nonetheless, I'm having my first Wagyu beef experience and I cannot wait for this. Oh my God. That's just as good as I expected it to be so salty and tender and you can really taste the fat in there as well and this was actually the cheapest uh, wagyu skewer at the festival it costs like a little over three dollars i think the other ones were almost double so i'm quite happy with this one try to see how tender that is mm. it really just melts in your mouth incredible best thing i've had in malaysia so far pretty sure it's japanese though thank you japan arigato well, it's officially raining cats and dogs in the city of cats, Kuching. So I took the opportunity to try some Malaysian drink. I asked the guy what it was called, but he didn't really know how to explain it to me. But, you know, the Malaysians love their iced tea, so it kind of just tastes like a sweet tea. Either way, a good refreshment to wait out the rain. Uh, but anyways, I think I have one more savory in me and then one more sweet. This is Chinese temple take two. Same Chinese temple, different food, 
The American in me just couldn't resist. This is the Korean corn dog. I've never had anything like this. So this one is basically half mozzarella cheese and half hot dog. And of course, you've got that mayonnaise on top. Hopefully, QP mayonnaise. But anyways, deep fried, I guess. Again, not good for my stomach, but the things you do for YouTube, right? Mmm. It's pretty spectacular, but I think it's also gonna be like a bomb to my stomach. So this might be the last savory food for today. And of course it was half hot dog, so I'm now just getting to the hot dog bit here, slowly working my way through this thing. By the way guys, if this is your first time on the channel, my name is Art and I've been traveling the world solo for the past 10 years. So if you also want to rewrite your life story through travel, just as I have, and make your life story a book worth reading, click on that subscribe button so you don't miss future videos like this one. All right, let's head back into this festival for one last hurrah. I think that's all I can handle and then get me the freak out of here. Well, I managed to make my way through the rain and get one last dessert and I wanted it to be Malaysian. so. I went for gula apong again. In the last video, I tried a gula apong latte. So now I'm trying the gula apong ice cream. And at first I thought it tasted kind of more icy than creamy. Maybe that's just because it's less industrial. So it's made with more organic products, or I hope so anyways. Uh, and I think it kind of melted uh, as I made my way through the rain, but I've already tried some and it's pretty good. It doesn't taste as industrial as ice cream. So in some ways not as exciting, but still really good and just tastes more organic in general. By the way, guys, I'm going to be spending many more weeks here in Malaysia. So if there's any foods that you want me to try and I didn't try today, I will try to get to all of them. Just put them down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. And sometimes, folks, you just have to walk home in the torrential rain. That's the fun of it, I guess. But at the end of the day, at least I can say I checked out the Kuching Food Festival today. I'll see you on the next one.